everyone, thanks a bunch for being here today. I've got an incredible tale to share, the remarkable story of a Danish kingdom, where a new legacy is being carved, one that's already sparking comparisons to the future queen of Britain. As the city hummed with excitement, a hushed fervor enveloped the cobblestone streets, drawing people from every corner to witness the unfolding saga. Now let's dive into this extraordinary day in Copenhagen. The streets, with their centuries-old cobblestones, are buzzing with excitement. People from all corners have gathered, eager to witness a new chapter in Danish history. Imagine this, it's 3 p.m. The grand doors of Christenborg Palace swing open, and thousands decked in white and red attire to the longest-serving monarch, Queen Margaret II. She signs the abduction, and then comes Denmark's new king, Frederick X, onto the balcony. Prime Minister Matti Frederiksen is here, expressing gratitude to the outgoing queen and cheering on the new king. Long live King Frederick X, she shouts. King Frederick X, with his new queen, Mary, and their four kids, addresses the crowd. My hope is to become a unifying king tomorrow. It is a task that I have approached all my life. It is a task that I take on with pride, respect and joy. As the transition unfolds, it's not just the end of Queen Margaret reign, it's the start of a new era. Homemade crowns of Danish flags adorn the streets as people from around the country and beyond celebrate. Ricky Lacour, in a red cape and crown, orchesters a day-long celebration for her friends. We are celebrating both of them. She has done a tremendous job and it's okay, she is now going on pension. The coming king is ready, and then we're here just to have fun. It's a good day to celebrate. Why not? Lotte Christensen, with her four-year-old twin, August and Lara, says, They saw the abduction on New Year Eve, and that's quite big for a four-year-old. It's something a lot of kindergartens have been talking about this week. The royal tale intertwines with Denmark's rich history. Born on April 16, 1940, Margaret Alexandrine Ingrid becomes the spirited princess who eventually becomes Queen Margaret II. Her educational journey from Denmark's private schools to the University of Copenhagen hints at the diverse talents defining her reign. Yet the turning point arrives on January 14, 1972, casting a soul man shadow as her father, King Frederick IX, bids farewell. With regal responsibility befalling her, Margaret ascends to the throne, becoming Queen Margaret II. Her reign heralds an era of stability in Denmark's constitutional monarchy. Beyond regal duties, Queen Margaret unveils her artistic prowess, a painter and costume designer adding vibrant strokes to Denmark's cultural landscape, the royal tale faces a poignant chapter with the passing of Prince Hendrik on January 13, 2018. In 2022, the Golden Jubilee celebrates five decades of Queen Margaret's dedicated service, a testament to longevity and adaptability. And so, in the Enchanted Kingdom of Denmark, the royal tale of Queen Margaret II unfolds with grace and majesty. Born on April 16, 1940, she emerges as the first-born daughter of King Frederick IX and Queen Ingrid, a spirited princess destined for greatness. Her journey begins in the Halward Halls of private schools in Denmark, where the young princess displays an early penchant for learning. Seeking further knowledge, Margaret ventures to North Foreland Lodge in Hemsphere, England, where she hones her language skills. The University of Copenhagen becomes the next chapter in her academic story, unraveling the mysteries of archaeology. In the summer of 1967, the pages of romance unfold as Margaret's heart intertwines with Henry, a charismatic French diplomat who becomes Prince Henrik. Together, they embark on a love story that brings forth their two heirs to the throne, Crown Prince Frederick and Prince Joachim. The turning point in Margaret's story occurs on January 14, 1972, casting a Solomon shadow upon the kingdom as her father. King Frederick IX bids farewell. With regal responsibility befalling her, Margaret ascends to the throne, becoming Queen Margaret II. 
Harine heralds an era of stability in Denmark's constitutional monarchy. Her canvas extends beyond the confines of royalty. She becomes an accomplished painter and costume designer, adding vibrant strokes to Denmark cultural landscape. The royal tale faces a poignant chapter with the passing of Prince Henrik on February 13, 2018. The nation mourns, and Queen Margaret stands resilient, a symbol of strength in the face of loss. In 2022, a golden jubilee adorns Queen Margaret's journey as she celebrates five decades of dedication. Her reign becomes a story of longevity and adaptability, guiding Denmark through societal shifts and political changes with regal poise. As the day unfolds, a new chapter emerges. In a solemn moment, Queen Margaret signs the official abduction document, flanked by her immediate heirs. King Frederick, seated behind her, and their 18-year-old son, Crown Prince Christian, witnessing the passing of the crown. The absence of Queen Mary at the Council of State is a poignant note, as she is not a member of the council. The ceremony is low-key yet holds a unique charm. Queen Margaret, in a recycled pink ensemble, gracefully steps aside, making way for the new chapter in Denmark's monarchy. The nation, witnessing this historic transition, gathers outside the palace to bid farewell. The royal family, now led by their new king, appears on the balcony of Christenborg Palace. Prime Minister Matthew Fredriksen delivers the official proclamation, and King Frederick, joined by Queen Mary and their four children, addresses the crowd. A surprise kiss between the royal couple adds a delightful touch to the momentous occasion. The transfer of the royal colours from Queen Margaret's residence to King Frederick marks a symbolic shift in power, while the royal family website experiences a temporary outage, adjusting to the throne succession. Queen Margaret's decision to abduction surprised many, her lifelong commitment now yielding to health concerns following extensive back surgery. Speculation about its connection to the rumours of an affair involving King Frederick added a layer of complexity. As Queen Mary, the first Queen Consort born in Australia, assumes her historic role, Sunday's proclamation marks the official change of reign. Denmark, adhering to its constitutional monarchy tradition, and so on this historic day, we extend our heartfelt congratulations to King Frederick X and Queen Mary. May your reign be marked by unity, prosperity, and the continued enchantment of Denmark's royal tapestry. Thanks a ton for being a part of this momentous occasion. If you enjoyed this royal tale, don't forget to hit the subscribe for more captivating stories from around the world. Your support means a world to us.